Hello everyone, and in this video, we are going to be solving an ordinary differential equation or ODE using Python. And before I get into it, the first thing I'm gonna do is walk through how we would solve this by hand so that we can see how long it takes and then see why it's so cool to be able to make use of Python to solve this for us and plot it so that we can get data back to us very quickly. So uh, what I have here is an example problem in which we are told that the derivative of y with respect to t is equal to minus 5y minus 3. And we're also given an initial condition telling us that at time 0, y is equal to 1. So the very first step we're going to do here in solving this is perform separation of variables. We've got a nice already divided side here. So what I can say is if we move this to one side, I can say we have minus 1 over 5y plus 3 times dy is equivalent to dt. So I just multiplied both sides by dt, divided it over, pulled out a negative 1. Now I'm going to integrate both sides of this equation. And when we do that, what we're going to find is that we have the following. So we'll have minus 1 fifth times ln or natural log of 5y plus 3. And this will be equivalent to t plus some constant, I'm going to call it c1. Next, I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by minus 5, so we can cancel out that 1 fifth. What we're now going to be left with is natural log of 5y plus 3 is equal to minus 5t minus 5 times that constant c1. Now I'm going to take the exponent of both sides of this equation, and to be a good mathematician, I'm going to provide these absolute signs right there. We're basically taking the exponent of both sides here, and what we're going to see is that the left side will become 5y plus 3, and this is equal to the exponent of minus 5t minus 5c1. And then we're calling the rules for exponents. When you have two parameters inside of the exponent argument, what you can do if it's a subtraction operation is call it the equivalent to dividing it. So what the right side of our equation turns into is we have the exponent of minus 5t and then times, and I'm gonna call this one over exponent of 5c1. And this is still equivalent to the left side, 5y plus 3. Now I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides of this equation. And so these 3s would cancel out, and then divide everything by a fifth. And so what we end up with is y is equal to 1 fifth times, sorry, another thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to call this term right here, the 1 over exponent 5c1, I'm just going to let this equal to c. And so now what I have, or I'll call this c2, is I'm going to have y being equal to this c2 value times the exponent of minus 5t, and then we're subtracting that 3 and because we're dividing it by five, it's gonna be three fifths. And then C2 over five, this thing I will call equivalent to just C, it's just some constant. And so now as we walk through this, what we have is Y equal to C times the exponent of minus five T minus three fifths. And now I'm going to make use of knowing the initial conditions. So because we know that at time zero, y is equal to one, I will plug in one for y, and then we'll have c times the exponent of five times zero, which is zero minus three fifths. Sorry, my handwriting's not great. Um, and then what we're gonna finally end up with here is one is equal to c times one minus three fifths. Therefore, c must be equal to eight fifths. And so what we have as our equation is the following. We have 8 fifths substituting in for C times the exponent of minus 5T minus 3 fifths. So this is Y of T. And what we're now going to do is turn to the computer and solve this using Python so that we can see how quick and easy we can solve this and get a graphical solution. All right, and here we are in front of Python. We've got PyCharm open. PyCharm is free. There's tons of videos on how to install it if you don't already have it. And so all I've done here is opened up a new Python file called app.py. 
call it whatever you'd like. And the very first thing we're going to be making use of is the NumPy package of Python. So the first line here is going to be import NumPy as NP. If you have not already installed this package, you can go to the uh, terminal here and just type in pip install NumPy. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to do this. Um, but that's what you do if you're getting errors when you try to do these things. Uh, the other thing we're going to be doing is importing the other package uh, from scipy.integrate. We're going to import this method called odeint. This is the ordinary differential equation integrator. And then finally, we're going to be importing an additional package called matplotlib. Uh, dot pyplot and we're importing this as plt just so we can save time from typing a bunch of random stuff so uh, that is all of the packages that we will be needing now the first thing we're going to be doing is actually defining the function itself that we're trying to solve for in this case we're solving for minus 5y minus 3 is equal to dy dt so i'm just going to define a function in here i'll call this model model is going to take in two arguments y and t and you need colons when you're defining these methods uh, and then what we're going to say here is dy dt is equal to minus five times y and then minus three so that's all you need to do and then we're simply going to return this thing dy dt and that's all you need to do to find your differential equation. That's the reason why it's so powerful and quick to do this stuff. We also have an initial condition, so y not or y at t equals zero, we said was equal to one. And then we are going to now be defining some time points to plot this over. So like on your TI-89 calculators, when you would say what your window is, it's basically the same thing. We're going to say that we're going to let a variable called t be equivalent to numpy dot lin space. And then we're going to have a window from time zero to time five. If you wanted to specify the number of time points, you can do that by having a third argument in this function. But if you just leave it blank, it's totally fine too. So you don't need to worry about that. Now we're going to actually solve this ordinary differ differential equation by calling on that ODE int method. So y will be equivalent to ODE int and then we're going to take in that model, which is that dy dt thing we just defined. And then we have that initial condition, why not? And then we have the time parameter that we have also defined too. So we've now told ODE in to solve this stuff for us. And now we want to plot it to see what it actually looks like. So we're going to be calling that plt object that we've uh, instantiated. And we're going to say plot. And we're going to plot t versus y. Um, and then we're going to say you know, to be good mathematicians or engineers, plot dot label, x label, sorry, is going to be time is on our x axis, and then plot dot y label is going to be y of t. And then finally, you're going to actually show this plot by calling the show method of the plot object. So now that we've done that in PyCharm to actually run this, uh, you can click on this little plus thing here, um, or you can just right click anywhere inside of here and click on run. And so when you do this, the method's going to run and it's going to give us this nice little chart here that we can actually see uh, our function and how it evolves over time. So very quickly, we just solved in milliseconds in our little script here, uh, what took us minutes to do by hand. And we've also got a nice plot that we can go around and show people and also figure out like, what does the steady state condition look like here? So we can see intuitively that we're looking at about minus three fifths, which is uh, making sense to us. The other thing here is, you know, and this is the thing that is super cool for me personally, it's like you can change these things and solve them so fast. So you can solve your math homework in milliseconds now because you can just change all these numbers to whatever you want and run it. So like if we did plus three instead, we can see how all these things change. And, uh, you know, what would have taken a long time to do by hand, you can just, you know, change it all up. You can see what happens when you flip that sign in front of uh, that differential and you're going to see how this thing blows up uh, very quickly. And uh, yeah, so very powerful tool. Hope this helps. 
Let me know, let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you all for watching and take care.